a heifer like mine now mentioned how do you treat uh, baby kilo acidosis? No? So how do you treat the patient coming with severe uh, baby kilo acidosis? Yes, we are treating one, one thing. What else? Uh, yes, we can, yes, I'll come back to this later. But before you take possession, what else? Yes, insulin. How do you use insulin? Folate. Folate, by insulin infusion. And so insulin infusion in say, normal saline until the glucose drops in. It's not yet, right? No. <coughs> 14. But 14 is still, and then it switch to sodium dextrostrip. Why do you switch to sodium dextrostrip? At 14? Yes, if you continue with just sodium, so insulin, so, uh, saline drip, then the patient will go into hypoglycemia. Um, because uh, actually, you know, so insulin is how long? Six to eight hours. So if you keep on giving saline, the patient will go into hypoglycemia. So you stop saline by 14. Okay, so rehydration and uh, with uh, insulin in, in the <coughs> oldest followed by drip until dextrose, uh, until glucose is down to 14 and then you change it. Insulin dextrin strip. <coughs> yes, one of your mentioned potassium. Why is it actually in you know, the diabetic kidney associates the potassium may look normal? Even though during the development of diabetic kidney associates, the patient will be losing a lot of potassium. Why may the potassium be more or less normal? The patient with this potassium inhibitor, potassium however may look normal because of two reasons. Yes, one, dehydration. Secondly, <coughs> acidosis. So the potassium will come out from the cells. <coughs> so, uh, and actually, remember to, uh, once you start the insulin dexing, uh, you can see that you, you prepare, you must give the base of the potassium. Uh, low potassium has been the cause of death in the uh, 1970 and 80s. Before you born, I hope. Anything else? Okay. Yes, give sodium by cup. Uh, not so quickly, otherwise, you will cause further uh, uh, engines of potassium in the cells. So, yes, carefully give some sodium by cup in a small amount, as 200 units of sodium by cup, and also or some oil sodium by cup. <coughs> I mean, by the next day, hopefully, the patient is more or less controlled. How else then will you continue to treat the patient? Good. We will probably look at how much insulin the patient is requiring before he, he or she becomes almost normal. And then what? Then you decide. Adjust. What? Adjust the insulin. Yeah, yes, uh, dominating insulin. And what else? Which may be wrong though. If you, you try and look at this, I think you may need that. Um, Thank you, dominating insulin. What else do you need? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, how often? Seven times a day. What? <coughs> seven times a day. This is seven times? I thought it's um, four to six hours. Okay. Uh, okay, several times a day, four to six hours. And then you write down this sliding scale saying that if the uh, glucose level is higher than what you will add on um, supplement. <coughs> then the other people doesn't quite like the sliding scale. Have you seen it? In what? Uh, because he says he lays the uh, the sharp. But <coughs> you can quickly do it for one day and see how much additional insulin the patient will find. Yeah, I mean, the science will be if it's higher than 8, you give more supplement. Higher than 10 or and higher than 14, 
to be consulted on that, consulted a more, much more senior doctor, or smarter doctor. <coughs> yeah, this is more or less for diabetic, but this is medical emergency. <coughs>